hello and welcome back to my channel um i just want to quickly address something i saw um a video that was um that was posted by this popular lady in nigeria that's called the blessing ceo that she calls herself um relationship therapist or whatever something like that honestly speaking i listen to i don't follow her that much i listen to once in a while i stumble um onto her videos and most of the times i I go by i understand what she says and most of the things that she says make sense to me like i said i've not watched all i've watched some not i wouldn't say most I was, i've watched some so i stumbled upon this one this morning that she just she made um recently maybe yesterday that she was saying something about um the best way to um i'm not i, I won't fully, i can't I won't be able to phrase it exactly the way she put it but i think basically what she's trying to say in that video is that the best way to silence or not to empower side chicks by married women is by being silent on them because when you don't whatever you don't give attention you don't empower i totally believe that um i made a video on made this my channel before where i said something that maturity begins from the point where you learn to pick your battles and if there's one thing that life have taught me it is to understanding people or things that I need to respond to are things I don't need to respond to. Some people were making comments and re replying saying that, oh, I say married woman, you can't can keep quiet when someone is trying to take my husband, blah, blah, blah. First of all, I want to correct one impression. People don't take people's husband, husbands. Husbands make themselves available to be taken. Simple and short. Nobody can take my husband if he does not make himself available to be taken. Because he's a full grown ass man, nobody can just call, see him on the road and grab him. You understand what I'm saying? Um, take a, a close case at this, our dear brother Yuli Duche, that his story is all over the place. You know, he made a comment the other day saying that, um, um, that he suddenly realized how wonderful, how easy it is to fall in love with two women, and he goes further to say that, um, that he found this wonderful woman, um, apparently referring to the side chick who eventually became his wife. That's Judy Austin. So that he, she, he found her, he, she's a very wonderful, amazing woman, and he couldn't let her go. The truth about it is that he found her because he chose to go close to her. There are 1,001 million amazing people on the road. If you go around on the road, keep looking for amazing people, you will keep seeing them. And if you want to make... Things say, okay, everyone that is amazing has to stay in your life. Then you're creating an empire of avalanche of women. I don't know the best way to put it. Probably that's what he's trying to tell us. That every single amazing person on the road. Because on a, tell me the truth about it is that aside from his wife, May, Judy Austin is not the only amazing woman that he has come in contact with or that is in close proximity to him if he looks closely he will see many more amazing wonderful women and you can't keep making all of them your wife so what the point i'm trying to make here is this um he the only reason why he discovered that gd austin is an amazing woman because he found himself going closer to her he went closer than he's supposed to he, he found himself too close for comfort he, GD Austin did not come to, even if GD Austin came for him which we know that most times most women seduce men even if they come close to you you can choose if you are a person that has self-discipline and self-worth you can choose not to get that close to the point you begin to discover that she's amazing to the point of making her a second wife anyway back to um um blessing CEO's comment I, I totally agree with it I made a video before like I was saying on this my channel where i said that one thing i've learned in life is not to respond to everything honestly they say go uh, uh, silence is golden and i believe totally in that because the truth about it is that there are some people who are just who who, who whose ego is boosted when they trigger you and you give them attention when they when they when they poke you and you give them attention you begin to it to me i see it as going to the gutters with the with the pig that's the way i see it somebody said um uh, i made the chair kept quiet judy came in um kazim's wife um talked um blessed that he came in honestly the bottom line is this whether the, the silence we're talking about here is not about those women it is about you 
for me, for one person, I understand my self-worth. I understand my self-worth that when you feel that it, it has become too much for you, just like me has is demonstrating to us, Name Edoche has is demonstrating. With everything that has happened, it's like suddenly she discovered her self-worth and she silently doing her thing. Because the truth about it is that it is not about you, it is not about me, it is not about that side chick, it is not about that husband who intentionally, irresponsibly decided to stray. It is all about your happiness. Until anyone, everyone understands it that life is all about you. At some point, like when it comes to things like this, that is when every individual should learn the act of bringing out that selfishness in you, not in the negative path. I can work with anybody that I want to work with, but at the point you become toxic, toxic to me, I ignore you. I'll tell, tell you something. If there is one weapon that has worked for me in keeping some kind of human beings at bay from me, it is silence. Because honestly, when you begin to give people attention, they become powerful. Just imagine where somebody sees you and the person, you know, calls your name, you call back, the person sees it. That is how bullies feed on. They feed on tormenting people. And when they torment you, you give them the attention. They become powerful and they keep growing and they keep growing. You know, like I, I say again, I go back to the issue of me, Doshi, and you, Doshi, and, uh, and um, Didi Austin right when you look at that particular incident from the moment the whole thing started happening at the initial time judy was coming to the instagram she was doing all this since one minute she's posting picture calling herself the wife of odogu she's doing this she's doing and it at for at every point in time you will see that may a duchy will completely completely ignore her even when she made a comment, uh, the you know, the posted something about her, about me, and um, I call her, uh, called her, her is uh, number one undisputed, whatever. And Judy, uh, 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 Judy Austin, shamelessly went there and said, "My lady," she completely ignored her. Then you know, with everything that she she's doing, she did that. She talked about her not. Uh, interested in being in polygamous family this one came out and said called her say slow it's, it's like trying to you know take pride in the fact that she chose to be a a a, 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 um, a second wife that she calls herself Bathsheba the wife of King Saul or uh, King David of course we know who King David is you know a man who killed another man and took over you know she 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 bragged about it and you and me imagine where May had brought herself to her low level and begin to respond. Hey, you're not sure you're shameless. That is why you see when you come to, when you compare her case and the case of Kazim and uh, uh, Kazim's wife and uh, Miss Aigbe. That's why their case is looking somehow childish to me. Because each time um, Miss Aigbe does something, the Kazim's wife will respond. Honestly speaking, like I said, it's not about the woman. It's not about your husband. It's about you. If you have some self dignity. I'm telling you, if there is one thing that's, that works so like magic, it is walking away from people who think that they can drag you to the mud, who can you know, drag you to the gutters. I cannot go to the gutters with anybody. Once you meet those people who are shameless, who don't have any sense of articulation, and they want to pull you to their level by getting you so angry to the point that you want to respond to them, you want to agree. If a side chick comes... And wants to shed me as the wife. You know, my dear, I go kojeje waka leave you with that man and live my life. The last thing I will do is to give you the authority and the power to make you believe that whatever you're doing is hurting me. No, that is one thing I want person for one person that. And let me tell you, silence is indeed the best answer to a fool. Anybody that's been following the story of Judy Austin and me. We realize that at the initial time, Judy was all over the place. My um, May's daughter was saying she will come over to see her own, twisting her tongue, rah, 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 twisting her tongue for everybody. She was doing all sorts of nonsense on the this thing. And because May, nobody, both May and the daughter, nobody was giving her attention. Go to her page, go to her Instagram page now. The comment section is closed because initially she thought she was going to get attention from that. Nobody, she's, she's, Honestly speaking, the best answer to a fool is silence. 
Silence is golden. Responding doesn't change anything. It's all about you. You want to go that way, discover who you are. Until you discover who you are as an individual, you live your life with pride and dignity. When somebody wants to come and date you, shave it off and keep it moving. Because that is where they get their power. People like that have, people, low lives like that has no power. They have no, I mean, uh, 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 such people don't have no power. The only thing that gives them power is when they get you angry to the point that you want to argue with them. That's it. That, it helps to boost their ego. It helps to boost, boost their senseless, uh, whatever they, they, honestly speaking, blessing CEO, I really, truly, truly, you know, buy into what you said not just about side chicks but everybody everybody i met like i said before i made a comment a, 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 a video here where i said it that if there is one thing i've loved in life it is to you know keep quiet just ignore people ignore make them feel like they don't exist walk away and do your thing before you know what is happening that individual will begin to ask themselves, oh, so with all these things I'm doing, this person doesn't even notice. If you pay, whatever you pay attention to, you give power to. That is just the truth. Whatever you pay attention to, it's just like a child who is throwing tantrums. For people that have children, one of the things, tricks that works for me, when my child is beginning to throw tantrums, I'll tell you, stop doing this, keep doing You know what you do? You lie on the floor, you're throwing tantrums, I'll walk over here and keep doing what I'm doing. They keep looking, ah, mommy is not even seeing me that I'm crying. Mommy is not even seeing that. When you crash, you should get up from there. Dust yourself and keep it moving. But if you think I waste my time to keep asking you why you throwing tantrum, why you didn't do it, you go sit down, you go there for that grand tire. That is the truth. That thing, you, let me tell you, silence is very powerful. Silence, especially when you give it to those fools, those people that want to drag you, pull you, unless you don't have a class. When you have found, found yourself a, a person with dignity, you don't let people drag you to the mud. You don't let the pig drag you to their gutters, to their dirt. Just leave them and keep it moving. You sh they want to shed you with their noise. Shed them with your silence. They don't know what is in your heart. Just do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing and completely ignore them. Completely ignore them. So that that power they think they want to get from you, they will go somewhere else and look for it. Honestly, silence is indeed golden. Thank you so much for watching. Whatever is your... Uh, 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 Opinion, you can drop it at the comment section. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.